Hi and welcome. Hi and. Hi and well. What are you doing? But your computer's right there. Why not play on it? Ah, I see. So what you're saying is that you need a way to play your Android apps on your PC. Yes, you did. Shh. Smartphone apps are great, but they'd be even cooler if they were available on other platforms like your PC. Now, you can already do this through the Android SDK, but it can be very complicated to get set up and running. A much easier way to run Android apps on your PC is through an emulator called BlueStacks. BlueStacks not only emulates an Android phone, but it can also sync apps and SMS messages with your actual Android phone. After you have it installed, it'll ask you to enter in your email address and a phone number. Then it'll send you instructions for how to download BlueStacks and set it up on your phone for synchronization. Alright, now it's all set up. So you can search for apps to install, and if your app requires the accelerometer to work, then you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to simulate tilting the device. If there's an app that you want to install that isn't available in the App Store, you can download its APK file to your computer and just right click on it and tell it to open with the BlueStacks application. Then BlueStacks will install it for you. If you want more of an Android phone interface, then you can install the ADW launcher. Then click on the home button and choose ADW. The launcher is also a neat little way to gain access to system settings and information. As you can see here, the storage for BlueStacks is set to a 2 gigabyte limit. For some people, that's just not going to be enough. Luckily, the great hackers at the XDA forums have come up with a way to expand that storage limit up to 100 gigabytes. Just download and unzip the file at the bottom of this post. Then after exiting out of the BlueStacks program, go to the C slash program data slash BlueStacks slash Android folder and make a backup copy of sdcard.fs and then rename it to sdcard.ext3. Then double click on resize sd.bat and select find file and find your sdcard.ext3 file. Check the resize file only option and then use a slider to adjust the size. When you're done, just click resize file. After that, drag your new sdcard.ext3 file onto make2fs.exe and type Y for yes and then just hit enter. Then rename it back to sdcard.fs and restart BlueStacks. Drag down the status bar and you should see a new SD card. Format it and then go back to your settings and check your file size. Now you should have successfully converted your PC to be fully compatible with Android. What a backwards world we live in. Alright, if you have any questions or comments about this or any other Tinkernut videos, feel free to ask them at our chat or our forum. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.